Today we're making some healthy beef tostados, healthy of course, right? They're coming from me. Uh, one of my favorite dishes. I'm using all healthy ingredients here and these are pretty darn quick to make. And especially you can cook up your meat ahead of time and then just have it ready to go for whenever you get the craving for a nice tostada. You just pull it out of the freezer and heat it up. Now to speed up this recipe, we're gonna be using some canned refried beans and I'm gonna show you the best brand to use, meaning it's the cleanest ingredients. And I'm gonna show you also how to spice them up so they taste amazing. If you wanna make homemade, I've got you covered. There's a link in the description for my homemade refried beans. Now here's why I'm so obsessed with tostadas. They have so much flavor, so many textures going on. It's just incredible and it's healthy. We've got the crunch from the tostada shell, a layer of protein with those beans and beef seasoned with Mexican flavors. We have the fresh greens, but most importantly, we have the tangy deliciousness of the dressing, which ties everything together. I've yet to find a restaurant that makes a tostada better than this, let alone one that comes close. Now keep in mind, this tostada did come from a restaurant. My dad served this in our family Mexican restaurant over 30 years ago. Are you ready to try the best tostada you'll ever eat? I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. What did the taco say to the turtle? I like your shell. <laughs> I'm gonna start by making my own tostada shells. Now you might be saying, well, why? It only takes a few minutes to do, and you can control the kind of oil that you're eating. I'm using two types of tortillas here. One is a quinoa tortilla that I got from Trader Joe's, and the other one is just a regular corn tortilla. Now I'm pouring some avocado oil into a small frying pan over medium heat. Now you need the oil to be only about a half an inch deep to submerge the tortilla. You can use an instant read thermometer to test the temperature of the oil, but if you don't have one, go ahead and just test it with the tortilla. Dip in a corner of it, and if it bubbles up right away, you're good to go. If it doesn't, that means the oil is just going to absorb into your tortilla, so wait until it gets hot. So continue cooking the tortilla, flipping it over every few seconds or so until it gets crispy and hard. Once the tortilla stops bubbling, then you know it's ready to take out. Just drain it off, hold it up and drain off the oil, and then place it onto a paper towel covered plate. The first couple of tortillas I made were the corn, now we're going to do the quinoa, and it turned out that the quinoa worked great. It got nice and crispy, and that's what you want. Now we get to make our dressing, which is, in my opinion, the star of the show, and it's so simple and easy. To a blender, you're going to add a half a cup of olive oil. Next, I'm adding some Bragg apple cider vinegar with the mother. Give it a good shake first, and then measure out about a half a cup. Then we'll add some salt, garlic powder, and several cracks of black pepper, say about a quarter of a teaspoon. Whip that up in your blender and then pour it into a mason jar. It stays like this, nice and creamy. Now I'm gonna add some organic ground beef to a large skillet that's been preheated over medium heat. And we're gonna add some very fine diced onion to that. And I'm going to cook this until the beef is done and no longer pink. Now I'm going to add some organic fire roasted tomatoes. To give this some nice Mexican flavor, we're adding some paprika, ancho chili powder, ground cumin, garlic powder, dried oregano, salt, a cup of canned corn that has been drained, and a quarter cup of water just to make it nice and saucy. And remember, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. I'm gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes so all the flavors can get acquainted. All right, it must be time for chef joke number two. What do you call an angry carrot? A steamed veggie. For my beans, I'm using Siete brand black beans here, and the ingredients are spectacular compared to what else everybody else is selling. These have avocado oil and clean ingredients. Check it out. So we'll toss these in a saucepan. You can see the oil coming out there. And uh, the only thing we really need to add is some fresh lime juice because they've already got these seasoned pretty well. 
So we'll heat these up for a few minutes over, you know, medium low heat until they're nice and hot. Now we're going to need some lettuce for this dish. And so I've got some romaine here. You want to use a lettuce that's crunchy, either iceberg, but I prefer romaine just because it has more nutrition. And you don't want to use mixed greens because it's just not crispy enough. I like some avocado on my tostadas, so you can either do guacamole or you can simply just slice up an avocado like I'm doing here into nice slices and lay it on top. To keep the avocado from turning brown, just squeeze a little bit of that lime juice over the top, just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. And give it a little light sprinkle of some salt. Really brings out the flavor. Now remember, when you add salt, hold your hand up high so that it comes out nice and lightly over all of your, you know, whatever you're seasoning. Now we're ready to start making tostadas, but I want to show you my layout. Okay, I've got my shells, I've got some grated cheese, that's mild cheddar. I've got my lettuce that's been chopped. I've got my dressing laid out here. I have some optional tomatillo salsa verde. I've got a container here full of sour cream that I'm going to be able to squeeze over the top and my sliced avocado. I've got my two tostada shells here. We'll start with the small one, the uh, regular corn tortilla. Just We're going to spread the beans over the top and all the way around. Next is a layer of our ground beef mixture. Next, I like to add a little layer of cheese because it, when it touches that hot beef, it's going to melt a little bit. And then we hit it up with our lettuce. Put a nice little handful on there. Then we'll hit it with a little dressing. Now remember, this is what really makes the dish. Try and get a little bit all over. Yeah, in fact, you even want it to drip down and, and mix in with the meat. It just is amazing. Next is a little drizzle of the tomatillo sauce. Just a, put a few dollops around it. Then I'll put a little drizzle of some creamy sour cream. Here comes a few slices of the avocado. I'm going to show you a quick version of the quinoa tostada, which actually turned out to be my favorite. I really enjoyed this shell. You got to make sure you get enough of that dressing on there. Here goes the tomatillo sauce. And you know, after I put it all together, I decided we needed a little more color. So I added some tomato. Didn't show it on camera, but you're going to want to put a little more drizzle of that wonderful dressing right over the top. Don't these look festive? Try serving these on your next Taco Tuesday. I'm sure these will be a hit. This is my favorite way to eat this. All right, I went for the quinoa shell. And it's big, but it held up real well. And I'm telling you, that thing tastes incredible. I am obsessed with this. Now, if you want to make your own refried beans for this recipe, I have the video for you here on how to make them with a special secret ingredient that's going to really make these beans taste so flavorful. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know by smashing the like button and leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. And if you have any questions, just let me know down there. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.